any more tips that you could share with pragmatic psychology, with your way of looking at things that are for people that find themselves in these dark holes mm -hmm. to actually make that move? Because yeah. I found it and it was like, okay, enough. But yeah. it's not everybody that can actually choose that that way. So do you have any tips for that? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what you can start with is allowance for the darkness. Because what people do is exactly the opposite. They don't have allowance for the darkness. They have judgment about the darkness. They think they're wrong for being in a dark hole. They think they should be happy and uh, come on, be happy. And then they force, try to force themselves to be happy, which of course doesn't work. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do, by the way, yeah, for two years. Exactly. But like, the cool thing is darkness is not a wrongness. It's not a wrong place to be. Like allowance for darkness is in your life is where darkness is not about a failure because darkness is never a failure. Like darkness is just a part of everything. And if you allow it to be part of everything, then it can also lead to something different. Like it can lead you to the awareness that, oh, I actually might like to choose something different. But if you just judge the darkness and you think you're a failure and you're stuck in the judgment, if you go, you know what? That's where I am right now. I'm in the darkness. What if it's not wrong? It's just something I'm choosing in this very moment. And it's just in this very moment. And then maybe you choose it in the next moment, in the next moment, in the next moment. But if you don't say just because I'm choosing darkness in this moment, it means I will choose it for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. it, like people project it on their future. No, you just in these 10 seconds, in this moment, you are choosing darkness. Okay, so what? It doesn't mean anything. Like take out the significance of it, the meaning of it. It doesn't mean anything. It's just like, you know, when 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 night falls after a day of sun, yeah, does it mean anything? Does it mean that the world is dark now? Does it mean someone is wrong or something is wrong? No, it just is nighttime and that's all. It's dark. It doesn't mean anything. So nature has this wonderful way of going, it's light, it's dark, it's light, it's dark. It doesn't mean anything. It's just the way things are. It's just like the cycle of things. And darkness, if you don't see it as a failure and you have allowance for it, it just is part of everything. And then when you relax and go, okay, you know what, darkness, I'm just going to allow that to, then it's very, very easy to shift into lightness again, or in some other colors, because, you know, life has so many colors, everything has so many nuances of everything. You know, dark is actually a color that has every color in it. 